Hello. Hi, Brianna. Hello. Hi, my name's Emma. I'm one of the doctors. Come to have a look at your tummy. Check it, okay? Is this your mum that you brought with you? Is that oh, okay yes, with yes, you if we yes, have a look at Brianna's tummy? No Brianna, is your tummy sore at the moment? Does it hurt? No. No, okay, good. Do you think you could shuffle over there for me so we can put your bottom back against there? Good girl, well done. Yes. Good there we go, a little yes. bit more. Get your bottom up to where my hand is. Yeah. Okay, good girl. And then if you swing your legs round. Okay, so what we need you to do, I won't do it now, but you can rest back on the bed there. How old are you, Brianna? Six. Six. Okay. And then in a minute, I'm going to put the bed down so you're lying down flat. But we won't do that to start with. Okay? Okay. So I'm just going to look around the bed and see if you've brought anything with you to give me any clues. I don't think you have. Mm. So have a look at your hands in that pink nail varnish. Good girl. Okay, can you turn them over for me? Well done. Good girl. Can you stick your fingers up in the air like that? Those two. And then down to the ground and then stick them together. Good girl. Well done, okay. That's it, just put your hand down. Feel your pulse for a minute. Good girl. Have you been to see lots of doctors today already? Yeah. <laughs> Can you copy me, Brianna, and do this? Put your eye down. And look up to the ceiling. Good girl, well done, that's fine. Can you stick your tongue out for me? A bit more. And open your mouth. Ah! Say, so, ah. 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 <laughs> Good girl. Yeah. Okay, put it back in again. Okay, can you rest your head back on the bed? I'm sorry that we don't have a pillow. I'm just going to warm my hands up. I'm just going to feel at the top of your neck, okay? You tell me if anything I does hurts you at all. It shouldn't do, but I want to know if it does, okay? I'm just going to have a little look down so I can see the top of your chest. Because mum's asked us not to take everything off, so we'll just work around it. Good girl. Okay. So I'm going to lift your top up so we can see your tummy. Lots of layers because it's really cold outside. It is cold. <laughs> Maybe not quite as bad as it has been, is it? Good girl. Sorry, well. Okay, so I'm going to lie the bed completely flat like you're going to go to sleep, all right? Oh, I love your hair. Who did your flowers for you? Uh, Mummy. Did Mummy do that? Very nice. Okay, so let's have a little look. Good girl. Good girl. And a good look all over your tummy. Now what I'm going to do, Brianna, is just feel your tummy and I need you to tell me if it hurts at all, okay? I'll be really gentle though. Good girl. Well done. Are you always this good, Brianna? Are you always this good? You're very good, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, a little bit deeper this time. Good girl. Now can you take some breaths in for me? A little breath. Well done. And um, <laughs> you've done this before, haven't you? Good girl. And again. Just in your own time. You don't have to rush. Well done. Okay. Good girl. I'm just going to play on your tummy like a drum. <laughs> okay, a few more of those breaths for me. Good girl. Well done. Well done. That's not sore there, is it? No? Good girl. Okay. Lovely. Well done, Robert. Okay. There's the drum again. Thank you.
give you a chocolate finger. <laughs> Okay, now we've got one more little bit to do. Can you sit forward for me? I'll help you. Good girl. Let's have a good look at your back. Very good. Okay, well done. Put all that back down again. Oh, and you've got boots on. Can I look really quickly at your ankles? Oh, very nice socks. Okay, so to complete my examination, I'd like to examine the external genitalia and perineum, but I won't do that today. Okay, thank you very much. You're brilliant. So, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, someone. Okay, this is Brianna. She's a seven-year-old girl. Um, she appeared very well today, um, but I focused on her abdominal system. She appears well-grown for her age, but I'd like to plot her on an appropriate chart for her height and weight. Um, she has no peripheral stigmata of abdominal disease and my key positive finding was that she has a mass in the left upper quadrant um, which is consistent with splenomegaly, palpable approximately 5 centimetres below the costal margin. Um, the mass moves back down with inspiration and I think there might have been a palpable notch. Um, I couldn't um, palpate uh, hepatomegaly and I think the liver edge was just palpable below the costal margin there. Um, so in summary, um, Brianna is a seven-year-old girl who has evidence today of splenomegaly without clinical jaundice. My differential diagnosis would include um, haematological causes um, such as early sickle cell anemia, um, they tend to not have a palpable spleen as they get older, um, thalassemia, um, this was an Afro-Caribbean child um, but my differential would also include particularly in Caucasian children hereditary spherocytosis or other um, defects like elliptocytosis or glucose 6-phosphatase deficiency. Um, I'd also consider storage disorders um, and infective causes such as Epstein-Barr virus if this was an acute presentation with splenomegaly. Um, okay, you've difficult. given me a long differential there. Um, do you have a feeling for what might be most likely? Um, since this is a young Afro-Caribbean child, it's possible that it's sickle cell. Um, but also possible that it would be thalassemia. Okay, and how would you go about um, confirming your diagnosis? Okay. So I take a full history from the parents and also do a full examination um, and plot the child on a growth chart. It would be important to do a full blood count and haemoglobin electrophoresis or the newer version of that test to detect sickle cell disease. Um, it, she may well have had um, testing in the past, however, such as on the neonatal screen, where she's a little bit younger, so I'd ask the parents about that. Um, it would be important to get an ultrasound of the mass in her abdomen, just to clarify that this definitely is um, splenomegaly, um, as well as doing basic um, all-round tests, such as checking a urine dipstick. Okay, and if this turned out to be sickle cell disease, how would you manage that? Okay, so sickle cell disease definitely needs a multidisciplinary team approach. From the medical perspective, um, the mainstays of treatment are prevention of infection through um, functional um, asplenia, um, so they need penicillin prophylaxis, um, and also prevention of anemia, um, and treatment of any sickle crises or thrombotic events such as stroke. It um, be really important to have a sickle cell nurse specialist involved in her treatment and then thinking more widely to ensure that management of her sickle cell was not impacting negatively on her education or growth and a community paediatrician could help to coordinate services such as um, help from social workers or educational psychologists to make sure we were taking a broad approach to the problem. Okay. You mentioned penicillin prophylaxis. Yes. Any other preventative measures? Yes, yeah, so patients with sickle cells should have the additional pneumococcal vaccine after two years old, as well as all their normal um, vaccinations as per the UK immunisation schedule. Okay, thank you, Dr McLeod.